Hey, I'm Wes. And I'm Josie. And we're here for another Noria unboxing. All right, welcome back. I am Wes, and we've got a new face here with us. Yes, I'm Josie. So, Josie, you work with Lunetta. How about yes. a little bit of introduction? All right. Um, I work uh, in the marketing department. Um, I'm also the in-house chemist. Since my background, uh, I have a degree in microbiology, and I pursued a minor in chem. Okay, so obviously mm -hmm. marketing and chemistry doesn't always go together, right? It is a little odd. Um, <laughs> I was referred to Lunetta, and the technical marketing position made a lot of sense for me since I get to indulge kind of my creative side as well as um, you know, the science. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So obviously today we are talking about the airlock. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of buzz around this this product and from a layman's terms, you know, what, what is the airlock? Simply, um, we like to say that airlock is the next big thing in chemical storage. Okay. So it pressurizes this headspace in the drum okay. to keep contaminants out. So obviously providing just a little bit of a buffer here. So now the things that are in the environment around it, because we know that, you know, drones yes. aren't stored in the best of environments. They're outside, they're dusty, they're wet, temperatures up and down. This keeps some of that stuff from getting in. Exactly. Airlock keeps oil fresh. There you go. And you said chemical storage. I think it's important to point out. It wouldn't just be for lubricants. It could be for any number of chemicals. Correct. Um, anything that's compatible with all of the parts of Airlock would be excellent to store. Awesome. So whenever we're thinking about the, the pressurized you know, component of this, I can imagine people are thinking, uh, you know, I'm going to filter my oil anyway. Uh, maybe I don't need to pressurize the drum. What right. do you guys usually say about that? So well, I love to hear that so many of your clients do take the step to filter their oil before putting it into the machinery. We at Lunata like to say that conservation begins at the barrel. Awesome. Because once contaminants make their way into the barrel, they're harming additive packages. Mm -hmm. Those are expensive. Oh, no, <laughs> absolutely. Filtration is not going to fix that. That's so. it. I mean, most of our contaminants, dirt, water, things like that, they're very polar. Our additives are polar. They kind of get you know, washed out or stripped out. Mm -hmm. And filtration, usually it you know, takes out a lot of the, the big stuff fairly easily, but the really small stuff just kind of continues to accumulate. So I think this is great to be on the proactive side of that, you know, keep them out in the first place. Yes, uh, that is definitely the goal with Airlock. All right, so the principle of this is keeping it under pressure, keeps mm -hmm. it fresher, keeps it longer. Is that what you guys usually say? Yes. The analogy that we like to use around the office and on sales calls is airlock is similar to a can of soda. Okay. So imagine if you found a can of soda in your pantry at home and you could tell it had been sitting there a while. Mm -hmm. There's some dust built up on it. You know, if you crack that open and you hear a nice little fizz, you know it's safe to drink. Get that idea. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is good. You know. Versus if you crack it open and hear nothing, you know that contaminants could have made their way in. It's probably not so safe to drink. With airlock, we like to say it keeps your oil fresh. Absolutely. And I mean, from the packaging, I mean, we do have installation instructions. Yes. Uh, we've got the, the visual indicator. This is just a threaded connection, a little valve stem. I mean, it's a very simple device. Yes. So do you mind doing a little demonstration here? Not at all. Yeah. So you are able to fill your drum um, with a simple air compressor. You can even use a bike pump. Yeah. And... There we go. So obviously we see it pop up whenever it's filled. And then pressurizing, I think it's important to point out, you're not putting a ton of pressure in this thing. No, uh, Airlock uses a very small amount of pressure, just two or three PSI. So in terms of you know safety, things like that, you know, we're, we're not worried about. Right, it's a very safe product. And let's say there's a record hot day, you have a black oil drum sitting out in the yard, the relief valve will activate releasing any excess pressure. Awesome. And then you said outside, so good for outside storage. I mean, we're not worried about this thing degrading. Right, so with uh, the sight glass here, it features our two inch sight glass mm -hmm. and the Triton does have UV inhibitors in it, so it will not yellow or crack with 
extended periods in the sun. Oh, that's great. And then I love how the visual indicator is fluorescent. It makes it very easy to see, very kind of a quick inspection. Yes, exactly. And if you're, you have a lot of barrels stored in a closet somewhere, you're able to shine a UV light in there and see yeah. which barrels cool. may require attention. I've actually got a flashlight here, so yeah. Yeah, I, obviously it sticks out you know, very easily, very quick. Yes. We see that, we know it's still mm -hmm. under the protection of okay. the air, airlock here. All right, well, Josie, I appreciate you coming by. And as always, I'm Wes. Where do they go for more information? You can visit us at lunetta.com for more information about airlock and the rest of our products. Awesome, so we'll catch you here on the next Nori unboxing.